Hi guys, I just wanted to share a thought with you for this Jubilee weekend. Um, our Queen has been on the throne for 60 years this weekend and um, kind of thinking about her and how committed she's been to her job. I mean, whether you believe in a monarchy or not, I think the Queen is a remarkable woman and works incredibly hard and has always been kind of a, a pillar of strength for our nation. Um, regardless of whether you actually understand or see the point of her role in terms of running the country. Um, just a bit of a, a random little thing today to think about. Um, it's been raining quite a lot for the last couple of days and normally when it rains um, we get a lot of frogs in our garden. But since the school that's behind us has filled in their pond and made it into like a, a state-of-the-art adventure play area for their playgroup, um, we haven't had any frogs and I had a dream last night because I was thinking this to myself while I was outside yesterday oh, I haven't seen any frogs and something came back to me from my days at school it's probably something you've heard in a school assembly or something at Sunday school if you went to Sunday school but I just think it's really appropriate kind of for the Jubilee weekend and for my channel um, and it's a story about two frogs so there were two frogs who were jumping along, minding their own business, along a farm, heading back to the river where they'd just popped out of. And they jumped so high that they both accidentally jumped into a pail of milk. Um, they were just passing where the cows were, and obviously one of them had been milked in the field where they were, and they found themselves treading water quite frantically. Um, kind of looking at each other, saying, oh God, what are we going to do? Um, because it was filled at least half full with milk, um, there was no way for them to get any leverage, to jump out again. Um, the sides were too high and too sheer, they couldn't climb out. So um, they both started to panic. They, you know, they were looking at each other and panicking and saying, oh God, we're going to die and it's going to be terrible and... Um, I can't believe I've wasted my life and this is all that people are going to remember me for, that moronic frog that drowned in a pail of milk. And one of them just gave up. He stopped treading water and he drowned and he died. Now the other one saw this happen and was like, no, no, this isn't going to happen to me. I'm not going to die like this. So he started swimming and he swam and he swam and he swam for what seemed like hours in a circle, just round and round and round and round. And he realised it was getting harder and harder to swim because he was exhausted, but also because the milk was getting thicker. And this gave him an idea, and he carried on swimming and swimming and swimming. And he churned that milk into butter until it was thick enough for him to climb on top, get some leverage, and bounce out. And off he went, back to his life, and... He survived. And, you know, Dory and finally Nemo puts it really well as well and just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. And today I want you to think about all the hardships that our countries have been through and that the Queen has stuck by us and, um, you know, guided us through, if you want to look at, like, look at it like that. Um, she's our constant, regardless of the... Um, governments that come in and out and go up and down in our popularity polls and you know she's our constant and we can do anything we put our minds to. She's brave and she's a leader and each of us in our own lives we need to be committed and we need to just keep swimming and churn that milk into butter until we can finally get out of a situation regardless of how long it takes. Something for us to think about today. Um, I don't know if I've had this inspiring dream because I made a new dream catcher thing yesterday. I don't know if you can see because of the light, but I went out and I gathered some sticks and I made a proper pentacle star with the proper under and over pattern like all the Celtic designs are. Um, put some green ribbon on it for earth and just hanging it above my altar. 
So I hope if you're in the UK, this Jubilee weekend gives you a chance to kind of collect yourself and reflect on the last 60 years of the Queen's reign and to reflect on your life. It's a shame the weather is so grim, um, but that's UK tradition. Any time you have off work, it is going to rain. Um, but it is a shame after such beautiful weather for the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, just some things to think about. Take care, everybody, and have a nice weekend.